All right, it is getting close to league time. All I've really been doing at work lately is playing on PoE Planner, trying to find how I want to path my character early on. And my character is going to be a Bleed Poison Gladiator using Perfect Agony with this dagger. So you can keep that in mind as I go through this. I'm going to start down this way. This is one of the best nodes in the game, so of course I'm going to grab that. Swing right over here, this evasion, and armor is actually pretty strong early on, but that life is solid. And I'm going to grab this guy. Mana has been increased on pretty much every attack skill, including Reeve, which, will, which is what I'll be doing. And um, intelligence is a little bit hard to come by until I get way right on the tree, so this is an extremely good node. And now that I can respec with gold, I don't really care about taking points I'm going to eventually refund. So I'm going to grab that bad boy, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to get this sucker. Only reason I'm getting this sucker is for the regenerate life and the 20%, I mean the plus 20 to strength. That 1% generate life is actually pretty important when you're running through the maps and leveling, because I keep one hand on my mouse and the other hand not on the keyboard. So I don't want to have to hit potions as I'm playing this game. And that 1% life regeneration as I'm running around keeps me, keeps my life tapped off so I don't have to pop potions when I'm running from A to B to keep my life up. I like this 1% life regeneration a ton and I'm going to need that strength very rapidly as I get into my gear requirements. Swing right down this way and I am going to rush this entire poison block and grab that bad boy. So why I'm rushing this poison block is this bottom node, which is 30 crit multiplier against bleeding enemies and 80% critical strike chance against bleeding enemies. This is extremely good and it might be like the best node in the game and I imagine that a lot of people are going to be anointing this bad boy. And then also another additional 80% critical strike chance against bleeding enemies. Now normally when people play league starters they don't usually go crit because it's kind of hard to go crit early on because it's hard to get your crit chance up i don't think that's going to be a problem with this bleed node and then also i'm going to be dual wielding so biggity bam another 20 percent increased critical strike chance and then a hundred percent critical increased critical strike chance this is extremely good early on this is going to be such a juicy juicy little start here and I'll be right about lab one right now, which is when I'm gonna grab this bad boy, which is gonna double my dual wielding bonuses, because I'm gonna be dual wielding this whole time. And that's gonna give me 40 block and 20% more attack speed. That is extremely strong. And right about now, while it's lab time, I would have gotten a lab, I know for a fact the Chaos Orb will have dropped for me. I am divining it now one Chaos Orb will have dropped, and with that one Chaos Orb, I am going to be grabbing this Amulet, which I can use at level 23. This is going to give me, I won't probably won't get a perfect 350, so I'm just going to say a 300% increase critical strike chance. So my critical strike chance early on in the league is going to be dynamite. It's going to be dope. It's going to be thick. And then from here, I haven't tried this little setup while leveling and i'm gonna try it this time because sometimes when i'm leveling i'll get a little bit surrounded and then they keep chipping away at my life and hitting me with spells but this will give me you know just a quick little it's probably like an effective 35 percent spell suppression from just three nodes and that's going to mitigate a lot of those spells coming at my way but then um, probably after the spell sus i will go this way to round out my block. So it'll be at 40% once I get this, and this will bring it up to 59, because there's nine block points in this node. I'm gonna swing over this way. I'm gonna head right to these claw nodes. I'm gonna be using claws at the start, and these claw nodes are gonna give me a 20% chance to poison, and then, you know, nine, 6% increase the attack speed. I don't really give a shit about the other two. Well, I guess the claw damage is fine, but I'm gonna be removing that when I switch to daggers. I don't care about the dot because as soon as I come over here, uh, it will be removing the dot. But the dot will be nice until that point. Swing up this way, and since I grabbed the lucky spell suppression, I'm gonna grab this immediately. It's gonna give me, I'm just gonna call it 12% more spell suppression. Grab these life, and then 
I am actually going to grab these because I want this 9% run speed. And also, since I'm getting lucky spell suppression, this spell suppression is pretty hot. And then from here, I'm at a little bit of a pickle. Do I keep going up or do I get this spell suppression? I'm going to wing it as I play the game. And I think I'll just go up because that's going to hit me to my damage sooner. But if I feel like spell suppression is more important, I'll grab that. But I'm pretty sure this is the way I'm going to go. And I really like the movement speed. And this node here has movement speed. So I'm going to pick this node up as well. And critical strike chance, critical strike damage. This is a pretty big block of movement speed that I'm going to be adding on top of everything else. And I'm pretty slow at leveling. And I go the wrong direction all the time. So this move speed is way more important for me than it probably is for you guys. So if you don't want to get that move, well, not that anyone's following this build. But if you don't think it's a good idea to get the movement speed, it's just that you're better than me at the game. If you're as bad as me and you have to turn around and you go the wrong way as much as me, you need that movement speed. And then I'm going to head right to Perfect Agony. Perfect Agony is going to be the juice. It's going to be so good this league, I think. Can't really know until you play it, until you feel it. But I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And at this point, I will have Nightblade support. So I will be grabbing some Nightblade support stuff coming up. More movement speed. Always excellent. Right now, I'll still probably be using Claws, right? But this 3% movement speed is great. 3% movement speed, that's great. And then we're going to grab this elusive multiplier and we're going to also grab this elusive multiplier so now with elusive we're already hitting big boy multiplier numbers and that those big boy multiplier numbers are not going to be my ailment multiplier and you're thinking to yourself well you don't have that much poison and you know what you're right i will be using herald of agony which is going to pump it up a little bit more but my poison numbers are not high enough so we are going to rush right over here and grab this bad boy critical strikes with daggers poison the enemy this is going to be extremely nice the entire time now you're saying well you just grab daggers right i grab daggers i'm using a claw well at this point i can buy these bad boys which were probably just going to be one chaos no one's going to use this no one is going to play this fucking dagger so i'm going to pick this bad boy up for one chaos i'm going to pick up two of these bad boys or two chaos and then i'm gonna put that on there and now i'm using daggers and now not only does every critical strike chance with hits poison i also just have this 50 percent chance to cause poison on critical strike i mean why not double dip at this point i'm gonna be needing some more strength this is usually right about where i need a lot of strength so i'm gonna grab that 20 strength i'm just gonna come through here and grab all this juice all the chaos damage for the poison physical damage for the bleed movement speed for the decks for eventually spell suppression once i decide to go get that and uh i think these nodes will probably be the strongest these are all extremely strong we'll finish up there and now we are looking pretty juice at this point i think my damage will be fine and I'll probably start to get into yellow maps uh, pretty soon. So uh, I'm going to grab that. Because once I start getting into yellow maps, that's when I'm probably going to need that close to 100% spell sus. And I'll definitely be in maps now at level 68. I'm almost always in maps around 68. And this will help round out some of that damage. Come right over here. Boom, boom. Boom. Now we got all this crit. We got all this jazz. We got all this good shit. Now we can start getting some of these health notes that I skipped by. And that that is pretty much it. Obviously, we'll be grabbing some gems as we get to these higher levels. Now we're at level 85. This is the starter. This is what I'll be grabbing. This is what I'll be doing. Another jewel slot here. Level 87. That's, this is a, this seems to be a spectacular start. I am hyped. This is going to be so smooth, so easy. And uh, assuming I get this and this, like I think I will, oh my god, it's going to be nuts. I can be T16 with this. I can do T16 easily with this, this, and this.
it's gonna be juicy. Also, um, I'm, but first uh, item I'm gonna buy next after the this and these two, it's gonna be the uh, Bringer of Rain helmet, but I think that's gonna be expensive. So once I grab these two items, uh, I'll have to make a tough decision between getting a Tabla Rasa or some weird six link or going for the Bringer of Rain. Obviously, I prefer the Bringer of Rain. That'll take me all the way to T16. And that block chance is even better now that I have a chance to block. And it will give me endurance charges. Let's just look at that Bringer of Rain in case you are not familiar. Bringer of Rain. We don't want to look at that POE wiki, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. We want PODB. Because PODB is the best. All right. That's the bringer of the rain. Somehow I moved the helmet down there. Did anyone else just see that? I have. That was... That was interesting. <laughs> I am a little uh, tipsy, so maybe I just imagined what just happened. I'm tripping the fuck out right now. All right. We got a level 30 melee fizz. We got a level 30 faster attacks. Now that's kind of a shit gem. But at level 30, it feels fucking great. And that level 30 blind is spectacular. Now a lot of people don't really use blind a lot or utilize blind but blind is so fucking strong so goddamn strong especially because the only thing i'm going to be using for uh accuracy is the nodes that i can already naturally grab and also precision so that blind is going to help me hit them bitches six percent block i'm going to be at this point i'll be lucky block right let's go back to here i'll be at third lab before i even get into maps i forgot to talk about the labs so I'm pretty sure I'm going to go lucky block first, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be at enough damage. It'll be depend. If I don't feel like I'm at enough damage, I'll grab this by, bad boy. Because when you're running through the maps for the first time, some of those bosses are actually pretty damn long. And a lot of them get to that 100 second mark. And then you're doing 100% more damage. War of Attrition is probably pretty good for leveling. But I'll probably want that lucky block. And then War of Attrition or pops that's gonna be a tough call on which one i get next i think i'll save pops for last even though pops will probably be help me level faster but uh, i'll have to determine what i feel the damage is because when i do some of these early bosses and early map bosses they might take like 10 seconds to be and this will be 10 percent more damage where this is just going to help me clear the map more and pop enemies but I'm going to be doing Reeve, and Reeve already has really good clear, especially because I have Ball Reeve by this point. So uh, this is a really tough call. Both of these are really good nodes. And it's just, obviously all you guys are screaming gratuitous violence, gratuitous violence, but I don't really care about Pops that much. Pops just mostly speed up your maps by, uh, you know, killing more enemies quickly. And I just, I, I'm not, I don't really care, right? I'd rather have more damage for a boss then more clear for the map. Because so, I'm using Reeve, I'm already going to have great clear. But I'm a little worried about the damage I'm going to do against bosses. And uh, so I will probably go gratuitous violence. But if my damage is like, if my damage is feeling good, I'll, I'll go to the pops. And then I'll be stuck between the decision between Weapon Master for 20% more critical strike chance or gratuitous violence. Now, you guys are probably saying I'm dumb for caring about this 20% more critical strike chance. But eventually, I'm going to be able to switch to a new amulet. I, I think, it, I forgot what it's called. It's like Marlene's items. This amulet. Amulet. Oh, it was, yeah, it was right here. And this will give me... 240% global critical strike multiplier, which is then going to be damage over time multiplier, but then I also have 40% less critical strike chance. So I'm pretty sure the way that will work uh, is it will just negate that critical strike chance. Right? Because this is going to give me 20% more critical strike chance, and then this one is minus 40% uh, 40 critical strike chance, so it'll only be minus 20% critical strike chance. I'm looking at the wrong amulet. I wasn't looking at it. I was just going back. Yeah, so 40% critical, less critical strike chance. And this will be 20% more critical strike chance. So I think it's just going to be 20% less critical strike chance. And that'll make using this amulet a lot easier. 
and this amulet is a absolute bucket ton of damage. It's absolutely bonkers damage, and also that accuracy is going to be really nice to have anyways. But uh, yeah, this is insane multiplier, and this is a really big downside for it, and that does help offside, offset the downside. But at the same time, if I'm doing good enough damage, I'll stick with this amulet, and then I'll just I'll just clear faster. I'll go pippity pop. That is my plan. And then obviously I can go there, you know, little 89, get more spell sus if I need it. That is the plan. Um, I'm super excited about it. This start right here is so fucking strong. Take that off because we won't really need it, need it to lucky block. But this, this start right here is so powerful. You got 20% more attack speed, 40% block, lucky spell suppression, a ton of crit. It's, it's just a lot of power for this early on in, in the game, and I'm super excited to experience it. Alright, later.